Okay. Hey guys. Listen. Listen up. Uh, my name is Ken Wainaina. Uh, I say I'm born again. I love Jesus. Uh, it's been good to us. It's been good to my, my family. Also in the bigger family of the girls that we are staying with. Here we are by the name of Shunem Children's Home. This is a home whereby we cater for orphan girl child. Simply because uh, the girl child nowadays is in grave danger. In the slum, there's no peace. In the slum, there's no security. Girls, they are, they are raped. They are abused in all manner of ways. Uh, and when we were just living there in the slums, we did not like the life that, that, that we, the children are living there. Because the children will never grow up to be responsible children. Because the children, they are imitators. They imitate what they see with their eyes. And what do they see there? They see fighting. They see drug abuse. They, uh, they see uh, those uh, drunkards uh, doing all manner of sort, sort of evils. Uh, and we saw this is not the best way. So I and my wife, we decided, yes, the resources are scarce, we don't have money, but God has given us a big heart. A big heart that can accommodate as many girls as we can, take them out of slum life, bring them somewhere like this one, where there is a good environment, where, whereby they can see there is a a great future. In spite of what they have been through, there is something better here. Yeah. Because they can see people living a good life. People living, having their own property. Not, not knowing what is happening in the other room. Just concentrating on whatever they are doing in, the, in the education. And sometimes during the weekend they help mama with hotel, something small outside there, like washing their clothes. Uh, and we hope to have a big number of girls as, as we can when we are able, when we have resources. We are looking forward to having uh, even hundreds of girls. Because uh, yes, even the boys, they're in danger. But girls, they're in great danger. Because uh, when you, you have a, a, a girl who is that in your school becoming a mother, what does that tell you? There's no future. There's no future for that girl. There's no future for the child that you need. What is ahead of that child is dark, darkness. So we are trying to, 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 to bring hope and healing to them. We want to show them there is still something better in the future. This is what we have uh, proposed to do in our lives. Me, my wife, and my children, because we have all sat together and have seen that this is really what we want to do. Nothing else but for the, for the good of the girl child, so that even, even my sons can have good wives in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Children who are, who are well educated, who can, who can be able to, even to, to make decisions based on knowledge, not just to be pushed and to be pushed here and there. No, we want to do something good, not just for man, but for God. Because God says he is the father of the orphans. And God will, not come, will never come here in person, or in person and do it. So it is my duty, it is your duty, to see that those who are less privileged are well taken care of. Yes, I have loved my children so much. That is why I don't want even another girl out there to live the life that I have been seeing since I was here. So what you are doing in short is kind of a coming out of slum. And you are trying to bring children out of slum, show them somewhere good where they can have a better life. I don't know whether anyone has a, has a ghost or a ghost. I could talk more, but we don't have a <laughs>